filming this out this intro again because I feel like I needed to redo it but I probably don't need to because this is how literally every single one of my videos goes I think it's shit and then I edit it and I'm like who is this eloquent beautiful just kidding no not eloquent beautiful yeah hey guys how's it going it's Alice welcome back to my channel it's been a really long time but I wanted to do a favorites video I used to have a little series called Faves and F*** Ups, but they started getting demonetized because of the word F*** Ups, and I kept saying it over and over again. So, there's some stuff that I want to talk about, and I want to tell you about, and just want to share the love, share the knowledge, and hopefully you guys can find something cool that you uh, want to maybe pick up if you're if you're in the market, okay? None of this stuff, obviously, is like, you have to buy this, oh my god, stop what you're doing, and go get this right now. Like, this is just, like, stuff that I've been using that I, like, really like and I just need to tell somebody. Do we need lights? Ooh. Ooh! Okay. This little jacket here, this is from Dress Lily. In case you were wondering. It's cute, but the quality is, it's a little low quality, but it is very affordable stuff. So, anyway, let's get into it. Start out with uh, makeup. Makeup, let's do makeup, okay? Foundation, I've been really into the Lancome Ultra Wear. I have the shade 110 IVOC. It's a good match for me. It's lightweight, it looks like skin. It's a nice like viscosity. It just doesn't feel too makeup-y. The other foundation that I've been loving and I'm just so glad that this stuff exists. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. I like the formula a lot and I love that it shows it tells you right there, rose, ivory, light, cool. It tells you right there on the bottle, on the lid, what the undertones are. So when you're in the store and you're shopping, you know what to do. It's really moisturizing. It's like hydrating. I like a dewy kind of like not too full coverage, especially because I, li I like to mix sometimes. So like if I'm feeling like I want something simple and, you know, basic minimal coverage and dewy, I'll go for this. If I want to, I can just add a little bit more of a uh, fuller coverage foundation or something like that to this. Haven't done a full wear test on it, but it looks good when I put it on my skin and I've been using it in my last few tutorials. Another favorite, Urban Decay Stay Naked The Fix Powder Foundation. I have the shade 10NN. I'm not a powder foundation girl. I haven't been since like high school. Um, but this shit is bomb. It's how I've been getting my under eyes nice and like bright and white and just like it illuminates. It just looks stunning on the under eyes. So that's what I use it for. Maxi Blush by Rimmel. Drugstore, hello. This is the shade Third Base. It's a beautiful blush. It's a peachy coral with a little bit of shimmer in it. It's absolutely beautiful. It's not too pigmented so you can literally just like when you're in a hurry just like get in there, throw it on, and then be done. Ooh, another blush. Okay, so this is Cream. This is by Veil Cosmetics. This is the Lip and Cheek Velvet Palette. I'm obsessed with this. I love having all of these different blush tones here in one freaking little thing. So today I have this one right here, which you wouldn't even think is a blush. But what I like to do is I put it on, on top of my foundation, like when I'm doing my cream contour and my concealer and stuff like that. And then later I'll put an, a, another blush on top, like a powder blush. But this stuff puts down a really nice base of pigment so that no matter what, even if the powder kind of like brushes away, you still got that like inner pigment, that inner glow. I feel like I need a gloss because my lips are like, oh, speaking of my lips, Sam Marcel Luxurious Liquid Lipstick. That is what is on my lips right now, honey. And... Is, is this the most beautiful color you've ever seen? The shade Clara. Clara. And it's a little dry. It's a little dry. At this point, I'm dry. I'm talking. I've been licking my lips. And you know how it kind of makes it like, like even drier when you lick your lips. So I am dying right now. But the color. The color. It's so stunning. I need, I'm going to put something else on though. So right now, I'm putting on Spotted Lip Gloss by Atomic Makeup. And it's not the same tone but I needed something a little less dry another favorite lip product is well this is a collab Miriam Miriam I don't know how to say that um, so this is a pixie product it is called posh nude and it's a liquid lipstick and it's such a beautiful stunning perfect nude color I'm obsessed I've tried a few of these pixie 
liquid lipsticks recently because uh, they just started sending me PR and they are such a beautiful comfortable formula i can't believe i haven't tried them before i'm obsessed and the doe foot applicator is really cool i like it because it's it's this like teardroppy kind of shape and it makes it easy to get like nice crisp lines and corners and stuff like that another lip product clove and hollow this is darling this is also a really comfortable formula and it's a beautiful shade too this is like more of a rosy nude you guys are like, what? Nudes? Ew. When I'm not filming and I'm just like gonna go somewhere, I do tend to wear the nudes. I don't need to scare people off more than necessary. Oh, I forgot to mention concealer. My all-time favorite concealer right now is the CoverGirl Undercover. I've mentioned it a lot in recent tutorials. I have the shade L100. This concealer is so bomb and it always makes my under eyes look flawless and perfect. I'm actually not wearing it today, but I love it. And this drugstore is awesome. And if you guys need a new drugstore concealer that doesn't soak, then you need to try that shit. You need to. The Bare Necessities palette by ColourPop. As if you need a reason to buy this, but it's just, it's, this is the perfect palette. If you need to just throw your makeup on really quick, you can close your eyes and just like fucking dig your fingers in and just go like that. And like, you're probably gonna have a good time. I used this palette on my eyes today. Day. It has a black and the black is very pigmented. It's beautiful. The only thing that's missing is a white. I wish there was a white. If it had a white, it would be a perfect palette for me. Should we do some hair stuff? I got sent a package from Saints and Sinners and I had never heard of them before, but it's like a salon quality hair brand and um, I'm a very low maintenance with my hair. I use suave shampoo and conditioner, I dye it and then that's about it. My hair already looks really, like pretty good for like such kind of like a low maintenance routine that I have but these two products have been so amazing and I feel like my hair has looked like a lot better in my videos lately because of these. So this is the Velvet Divine Leave-In Conditioner. You spray it in when your hair is still damp. It makes my hair so silky, like so unbelievably, like ridiculously silky. Like I don't even understand what's going on. Even like at the top too, like I just find myself like wanting to run my hands through my hair because it feels so silky and smooth and like this, I don't have to straighten. It makes it like straighter, this. Velvet Divine Hair Mask. I was editing a video and I was like, bitch, why does your hair look so good? And it's because I had used this. This shit is bomb. I put it everywhere, even up top, because I want my hair to be like shiny and soft up here too. Skincare, 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 skincare. Sorry that a lot of this stuff is kind of dirty, but I, I do use it. So these two items, I can't remember if I've talked about them or not. But here we have the Fourth Ray Beauty BFD Cleansing Oil. This is a cleansing oil. So I like to do a double cleanse process with both of these. You have a full face of makeup on like right now and you need to get it, you need to start melting it off. Squeeze out some of this, rub it all over your face. The amazing thing about this, as opposed to like other cleansing oils or even just like straight coconut oil, this one doesn't leave like a greasy residue. You could technically use this and then just like rinse off with water, which I mean wouldn't be ideal, but it rinses clean. It rinses off clean with water, which I absolutely love. But then to get your face even more squeaky clean, the 4th Ray Beauty AM to the PM Gel Cleanser. This shit, if I just really need to clean my face, like this is what I reach for because no matter what, my face feels so clean, so fresh, like I, like my pores are breathing. It almost feels like kind of dryish afterwards, but like just clean, like it feels clean as f mm, Okay, bougie skincare time. <laughs> this is the Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Moisturizing Glow Mask. When I'm like having like a skincare like pampering moment, I want something like this, but for my face. And that's kind of what this is. You slather it on, it's like a creamy, lotion-y type texture, and it doesn't dry or anything like that. You just, you put it on your face, you let it sit for 10 minutes, and then you're supposed to kind of like wipe off the excess with a towel. Afterwards, your face will be so fucking soft. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. It says in the instructions to finish with the nourishing oil and then the nourishing cream, but I feel like this is this is like my last step sometimes when I'm doing like a pampering skin day because it's thick. She's thick though, and like maybe sometimes like I don't wipe 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 off the excess. I just kind of like let it sit on my face for like a really long time. 
Perfusion is a drugstore brand that I've been using for a while now. They came up with some brushes and I'm super impressed. Uh, these are some of the best brushes that I've received in PR. The shapes of them are so useful. The fine like concealer brush, it's actually nice and thin and tapered. The blending brushes are actually like fluffy and blendy and like they each have like the name on it so you can see exactly which one you're grabbing. Look at how tiny and perfect that, that brow brush is. It's focusing on my face. Can you see it? This is the Wet n Wild One Step Wonder Gel. I have it on my, on my nails right now. This is the best black nail polish that you can get for one dollar. That's right, one dollar. I've tried to look for it at the Dollar Tree again recently and I haven't found it, so maybe it was just there because like they had an overstock or something like that, but um, I'd pay more than one dollar for this. It is so black, it goes on so pigmented, like one swipe. I'm not even kidding, one swipe. This is the shade 735A Power Outage. And just, it's a gr really just nice, easy, just like, you know, throw it on really quick. Doesn't take too long to dry. I'm obsessed with it. Uh, okay, other stuff, other stuff, other stuff. I've been super into clear lip gloss lately. This is Rimmel Stay Glossy in the shade Seduce Me, which is just clear. There is something in here that really like softens your lips. Like it's just softening, softening, soften. Thing. The doe foot is really soft. It feels just nice to put on and then it um, it stays on for a decently long time. The only thing that I'm not crazy about is the smell. It's got like an old lady rose like makeup smell to it, which I'm not crazy about, but I really like the formula and it's cheap. Another one that I like, but it's a totally different consistency, Fresh Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Balm. I've been going through this shit like crazy. This does not last long. I'm telling you right now, this does not last long. I got this in PR. It's nice. There's cat hair on it. It feels great, but it just, it disappears fast. Like, it feels nice. Would I pay for it myself? Probably not because it just disappears so fast. I'm getting warm. <laughs> I'm getting warm because I'm kind of ranting a little bit. Another favorite is the Hank and Henry Longwear Liquid Eyeliner in Blickety Black. I've been using this a lot. I love an eyeliner that I can use multiple times and it doesn't dry out. This is a very fine brush tip eyeliner that dries matte and is just absolutely beautiful. You can shake it up. You make sure it doesn't dry out or whatever. I don't know exactly what the point of the shaky thing is, but I really like this and I've been using it a lot. A new favorite of mine, but like I'm floored. I'm floored by this, is the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pen in the shade Black Noir. This is the softest, softest eyeliner that I have ever used. It just makes it an absolute breeze to put on your waterline and sometimes putting stuff on your waterline is kind of a pain in the ass, so this stuff's bomb. So I have my sister Jenny to thank for this one. This is Queen Helene Cocoa Butter Hand and Body Lotion. This is my favorite lotion of all time. I'm not exaggerating this is like two dollars at walmart i know like for this much lotion for the longest time i was you know i was a bath and body works girl i would get the bath and body works lotions and ask for them from christmas and you know like they smell great and stuff like that right but do they really do anything for your skin like it kind of greasy i don't know this stuff soaks into your skin right away like you're, you don't have to sit there and keep like rubbing, hoping for like the greasiness to like go away so you don't look like a greased hog. You just need the tiniest little bit. I'm gonna put some on my arm to demonstrate. The tiniest bit goes a really long way. It's already absorbing. There's no greasiness. It's just, your skin is just getting moisturized. <laughs> Sorry for the goosebumps, but my hands have been really, really, really dry lately because of like the dry weather. And this stuff is the only shit that saves my really dry, horrible witch, witch hands. That's going to be it for the faves. If there's any products that you have been using recently that you like absolutely love, that you just need to tell somebody, you need to scream it from the rooftops, let me know in the comments. If it's that good, I want to know. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.